What's up, y'all? It's your boy Emerson Wendy, man. It's about 3 in the morning and we out here in Madison, Wisconsin. At 89.9, about to do our thing. Yeah, pop is what I do it for. Old school meaning. We'll get on the radio, talk about a few of these brand new records I got with 2 Chain, like Future French Montana, Waka Flock, and my homeboy Hoffa Bang. A lot of old size finest, man. Check that out. West Side Wendy Story. Coming right up, my man E. Wendy. Interview exclusive. Stay tuned in and turned up with the after party here on WORT 89.9 FM. I'm from the West Coast with them niggas ride on them go D's on threes. I got these diamonds all in my chain. Got my man E. Wendy in the building. All the way from California. For all those that don't know who E. Wendy is, you know what I'm saying? Introduce yourself to the world of WORT 89.9. What's up, man? I'm Emerson Wendy, and I'm from Oceanside, California, man. Just out here trying to see the world and do it big. You know, we got songs with all your favorites. Check us out. Two Chains, Future, French Montana, you name it. Let's do it. I started to rap about 18, 19 months back. How, how, how did that, what, what made you just, you just woke up one morning and say, you know what, I want to be a rapper. I mean, I can say it almost happened like that, but on some real stuff, for my mama had passed away a few years ago, and uh, I was a producer. I produced for a lot of people in the game, and, uh, I just really wanted to put out something brand new and fresh, and I didn't know who to hand the songs off to, so I just kind of did it myself, and it wasn't that I didn't think it was going to be hard, but I love music, so I put my all into it, and here's what came out in the picture. I mean, shoot, the fans, they like it. Do you produce your own, your own, your own songs? Yeah, I produce about 80% of everything I do. I mean, this album over here, I produce the whole thing. I'm at Pearl Harbor ENT, and with that being said, I produce my whole project, because that's how I started. I put my beats down, put my hooks over them, then I write my lyrics and put it down like that. And uh, if it ain't broke, I ain't gonna fix it. I heard that. You have a new album just coming out or it's already out? It ain't out yet. It's completed though. You're gonna like that. West Side Wendy story. West I got Side everybody Wendy. on that. I got bangers, top to bottom. Ain't no album fillers. It's long. I think I got about 21 songs on that bad boy. And I like them all. On an album? Well, okay, let me, let, me, album. let me clear this up. Is this an album or a mixtape? It's an album, bro, but you know how it go now with music. It's going to get pirated. It's going to get put out there for free, and I'm all right with that because as long as the fans hop out there and they peep me out live, I'm with them. You shit, I don't care. You, yeah, you pirate that bad boy. You can have it. I'll let you bootleg it right now. I got one for you. <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's yeah. up. So what's the, what's the, the date that we can expect to have? Uh, you know what? I'd be lying if I said I knew. Right now, I'm going to just push the singles right now. I'm going to get out there. I'm going to push the records, and we're going to see what happens. Do you have... Other artists that you that are on that are signed to your label now, or are you looking for artists, or what's the deal with Pearl Harbor? I'm looking for artists. I mean, I have some artists who are in the work, so I won't discuss them at the moment. But uh, they're real talented, man. I kind of see my stuff being like a bad boy, a Def Jam one day. I want to continue to grow within the industry and put out great music for the next hundred years, man. If I can do it, if I can stay alive that long, that's what I'm talking about, man. Well, you're an independent artist. I would, I would. Yeah. Independent you major, do. yeah. We got to deal with Universal, yeah. Okay. So, with that being said, do you deal with other independent artists? Oh, of course, man. I deal with everybody. Is your production reasonable for for independent artists to come to you and be like, E. Wendy, I, you know what I'm saying? I really like your tracks. I want, you know what I'm saying? I want to get down with you. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of guys that are yeah. officially in the game, and yeah. I, I consider you being in the game because you you do tracks for, you know what I'm saying, major yeah. majors, and you also have connections with major Bro, and me i'm all about the people i mean on my brand new album i got more people who are brand new than i do the big boys because i'm all about the new up and comer i'm a new up and comer so i ain't there yet i'm always gonna be about the people so nah man i mean if you got some skills i'll be honest with you and i probably shouldn't even spit this out on there but if you got some serious skills i'm probably not even gonna hit you man we just gonna work because that's kind of where i see the industry ending up anyway I mean, the albums ain't getting out there a million sold no more, so let's be honest about that. So, at the end of the day, it's just about keeping a good song on the radio all the time. So, if you got some skills and you got a budget to push the music, that's what you need the bread for, is to push the music out there. If you have that, you got some skills, you ready to go, I'm ready to rock with you. What, what advice would you give an independent artist? I'm glad you asked that question, because I speak to independent artists all the time, and I tell them. You only gonna go as far as the B word, the budget, baby, and that's real talk. In this industry, everybody gonna want some money from you—a marketing firm, a radio host, all that stuff. I'm not, I'm not, okay, I won't say host because I mean, you ain't asked me for anything, but <laughs> a radio promoter. 
to put it out there big. It's real hard to hit every station in the world and say, hey, I want you to play my song. You're going to have to deal with these promoters, and then promoters going to want some money. So you push that that way. But you hear a lot of stuff today because these people have the budget to push it. I wish it was just the old-fashioned way, but it's not, man. And you in the Ozarks, if you still believe that, you're going to stay at the, I mean, at the start if you ain't prepared to, to push it. you got to push it. How they gonna push it with the money, man? That's what I'm talking. That's what's up. We here with E. Wendy, aka Emerson Wendy, on the after party. You know what I'm saying? We gonna get into it. The money up, featuring two chains and half a bang, and my boy Chris Knight out of Tampa. That's E. Wendy, baby. Play that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I ran a lot of you rappers. Got grills, you know what I'm saying? Gold grills and the diamonds and the, the man got diamonds in his teeth. <laughs> in the actual tooth. He puts it on there with the braces stuff, the cement, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's almost how they adhere them to your teeth. So they actually not drilled in. I can hit back to him and he can pop them off or whatever he gotta pull them off with. So they ain't actually in my teeth, so I can remove them. How, what, what would you describe as your music? You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of us from the Midwest, you know what I'm saying, have a certain sound. Yeah. Uh, people from wherever they are, everybody has a certain sound. I got my own flavor. I don't really know how to categorize it. It's just, I mean, I mean it's what I do. Who were who some of your influences? You know what I'm saying? Oh, man, if I sat here and named all of them or any of them, man, it'd be a long list. I mean, I listen to everything from, you know, I've been compared to Andre 3000 a lot. It's not because we sound anything alike. I think it's just because nobody really knew how to say what he sounded like. You couldn't really put him inside a box, so I get that a lot. I'm influenced by so much. I love 50 Cents. I love the uh, the B.O.B.s. I love uh, Easy E old school. I mean, I like it all, man. I just love hip hop. I'm all about it. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm really here to affect affect people, affect people's lives. I want people, I mean, I want to make the world a better place. I want to leave the world in uh, in better shape than what I found it, to be honest with you. Like, I mean, I'm all about the homelessness, the movement. I mean, the diseases, hunger, all I of think it. as a, a rapper, I have a responsibility to help those who can't help themselves. And that's just what I'm here to do. I want to empower uh, everybody. Blacks, whites, Hispanics, everybody, man. As I said, I just want to make the world a better place. We are the world. But tell us what's going on tomorrow with the America's Most Wanted Tour. Man, they finna get a jumping over there with Lil Wayne, T.I., and 2 Chains. Man, now I forget the name of the venue, I'm not gonna lie, but uh, it's gonna be hundreds of thousands of people over there, man. It's gonna be so big and gravy. My three son, man, my two seater, that's a brand new record I just cut with my homeboy Hannibal uh, Hector, man. He had a L.A. big time producer, man, doing his thing, but just signed with Interscope. Three some of my two seater, y'all. Emerson Wendy featuring Cadillac Freeze. Let's get it. Exclusive! So lap up in my ride and shout it, that's what we gon' do. Three some in my two seater, 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 three some in my two seater. Got one bad bitch in my front seat, just hoping Wendy gon' get it. Got another bad bitch in my lap, nigga, cause this Lambo's a two-seater. So I drove him back to my left, she said, how much time until we get there? I asked the bitch, do you drive stick? Cause you know I got that dope dick. I'm like, dang. I'm thinking that Wendy boy gon' have so much fun, she got me in the wind in my two-seater. And like Michael Jackson, I beat it. Yep, like Lil Wayne, I might eat it. This Lambo was my room. Tell your homegirl, put her head in my lap and with a tongue, baby, let's go for room. Damn, damn, till I ski skirt. Damn, till I ski skirt. I bust one, then I bust two, then I'm out the door, cause my dick hurts. Oh yeah, said I'm Wendy boy, you're that dope man. Said I'm a dope boy, you're that fly shit. And I'm a real nigga, so don't try this shit. Oh yeah. Oh, the the Interscope, Universal, Pearl Harbor, all that. Still looking for that feature, we gon' get it. Three summit, my two seed. I know I'm starting out of cash now. Bitch, you know hip hop is what I do it for. Put a milli up on that YouTube. I'm on the airwaves. I get airplanes. They call me airplanes. I'm famous. Oh yeah. Get my man J A to drag on. Yeah. Hey, this dude right here, he like bitches. I can tell. I saw a couple of his music videos. Every video, even if it makes sense or not, he just got a couple dancing bitches. It's really cool. I dig it. Man.